everybody, my name is Chris Gates, and I am the Cub Master of Cub Scout Pack 2035 right here in Governor, New York. Welcome to our virtual-ish recruitment. We decided not to do a traditional recruitment because of COVID. I mean, the way COVID is right now, we have a hard time meeting in buildings because of the requirements that are put in place by the state. So we decided that we would do it this way. I give you a little brief, hopefully brief, uh, message on what Scouts is about, and you are more than welcome to please contact me. Let me put my contact information out right now. So my phone number is 315-212-3033. You can text me, call me, whichever you want. Uh, my email address me, is cubmaster2035 at gmail.com. Again, you can email me anytime you want. The next one is Facebook. Why Facebook? Facebook's where you're gonna see all the activities that we've done. We try to put pictures of most things that we've done. And if you put in your search at the at sign, at PAC2035, you'll find us. We also do, I do some Facebook video, or excuse me, YouTube videos um, for the kids during, during COVID. You can find those uh, under YouTube, under Cub Master Chris. And we have a couple TikTok videos and you can find those at, at Cub Master Chris. Okay, so great. So what is a Cub Scout? So our goal in Cub Scouting is to make your youth a first class citizen. It's a character development organization, okay? So we're trying to make good people. We plan to make all of our Scouts good people. Who doesn't like that kid that when you drop your grocery bag comes and helps you or opens the door before you? That's what we're trying to make right there. We're trying to make those type of kids and the, and the kids that volunteer in the service organizations, the, the VFWs and the Elks Lodges and the American Legions and the Rotary Clubs and, and all the clubs. These are the kind of people that we need. If we don't make volunteers now, what are we going to have in 10 years for volunteers or 15 years or 20 years? Okay, so that's the reason that, that we're, we're really working with the Cub Scouts um, to try to make them first class citizens. Now, what do we do? Okay, so we have a meeting every week, it's typically Thursday, and it's at six o'clock. Where do we meet? Well, with COVID, it's a little different. We have a couple locations inside that we can meet. Um, but if it's nice, we try to meet outside and do some out, outdoor activities. So that may change when winter gets here, but, but we have a plan in place for winter too. As long as, as everything doesn't open up, if it does, then we go back to our plan before. And our plan before was we met at the rec center. Okay, so what do we do? We're active. By active, what is active? Okay, so in May, we started with taking the flags and putting them on the graves and cleaning the stones. We did that. We also hiked Mount Azure, um, which is in um, like St. Regis, and it's a good hike. I'll tell you, I'll guarantee it's not a long hike, it's a couple miles, but I'll guarantee you'll be tired by the time you get to the top. Beautiful view and a fire tower up there also. So we hiked that. We've also been fishing. Um, we, we've been hiking at many times. I think we've gone four or five times on hikes. And hikes, I mean, in excess of two miles. Um, we've hiked two mountains. Now next weekend, we're also gonna hike two more mountains. So we'll hike four mountains this year. And the reason we're doing four is we would like to earn what is called the Tupper Lake Triad. What is the Tupper Lake Triad? So that's three mountains, Mount Arab, Mount Coleman, Mount Coney. Did you hike all three of them? You'll get a patch from the DEC, the Department of Environmental Conservation, that will um, prove that you've done the, the uh, Tupper Lake Triad. It's pretty cool. It's like the beginning of the the Adirondack 46ers, if you've heard of that club, which that is somebody who has climbed and it's, it's no small feat, 46 of the highest peaks in the Adirondacks. Okay, so while we're on these hikes, we try to do some nature identification of plants and animals, um, scats and, and things like that. Uh, occasionally we find snakes and frogs and we talk about them. Um, so it, uh, try to turn it into a little bit of an educational hike also. We frequently hike Yellow Lake. Yellow Lake, where is that? This is the Yellow Lake that I'm talking about. Actually, this is Oswegatchie right behind me. So we are the stewards of Yellow Lake game lands. 
And I don't know if you understand what that is, but basically we take care of the state lands. We're the one that goes, picks up everybody's garbage that they leave there. We're the one that's trying to keep sticks and, and branches off the, off the trail. We make sure that it stays in good condition. Where is Yellow Lake Game Lands? Yellow Lake Game Lands is located in Wagachi. So if you know where the Wagachi Hotel is, you go just past that, there's a bridge on your right hand side. You take that bridge across, turn to the right, follow it around, you'll come to another bridge. They call us Twin Bridges. This is the second bridge behind me. If you go over this bridge, you'll find a parking area. Right in front of you will be the Yellow Lake Game Lands. We hike it frequently. So the trail does go, it's a couple mile trail, it does go around to Yellow Lake. Um, you're up on some cliffs, so you're not gonna be on the water. Beautiful view though. Um, if you go to the other direction, it brings you to a nice sandy beach on the Oswegatchee next to the rapids. So it's a beautiful spot out there. There's lots of hiking, um, hunting if you're into that, but but there's a lot of hiking out there and it's a, it's, it's a beautiful spot. We try to take the best care of it we can with the time allotted. So what do we do? We do we do conservation. We do we do community service. We do hiking. Wow, that's a lot. We do fishing. Oh, camping. Of course we do camping. So this year, usually we do at least two. And this year, unfortunately, things got got complicated. Um, and we we camp one three day weekend. We're planning on going again uh, to Syracuse in the middle of October. It, it might be a little chilly, but we can handle it. Um, so we have a lot of things coming up on our schedule. So let's talk about fees quick for a minute. How much does it cost to become a Cub Scout? Okay, so a new Scout, there is a new thing that they've implemented. It's a $25 fee um, to register your new Scout. So beyond that is, is approximately $100 a year. So if that sounds like a lot, $10 a month, right? It's not that much to make your, your youth a first class citizen. Are there some ad additional fees? There are. So the uniform, I mean, if I buy a brand new uniform, have everything sewn on, you're looking at $100. We can do it a lot cheaper. We have a whole stock of uniforms that we can outfit your youth. Um, if we can't, I surely I can, I can find some to make sure that you have a uniform at your price point, okay? And we can work with payments or, you know, in extreme cases, if you really, really can't afford it, I'll make sure you get into scouts. Don't let money be a factor of, of why you join my pack or not. I'll make sure that you're able to become a member of this pack. So listen, we can sit here and talk all day about scouts because I love scouts, you know, and just so you know, I'm very active or I have been in the past. I've been day camp director. I've been program director for two years. Um, I'm also the one that I put on the uh, Cub Scout Winter Games here in Governor um, District Committee. So I've done a ton of things within scouting. Got a lot of experience. And I love, love to share some of that with your youth. So listen again, please get a hold of me and we can talk about this even further. I'll put my information again below. My phone number is 315-212-3033. And please don't be scared to text me or call me. My email is Cubmaster2035 at gmail.com. And again, you can find us on Facebook at Pack2035. So check us out. It's an exciting program. We have a lot of fun. Come join us and see what it's all about.